This is ABC 15 News. Maricopa County Attorney Rick Romley focusing on illegal immigration with a new plan to fight it. Thank you for choosing us. I'm Steve Irvin. And I'm Katie Rammel. He's getting very specific. ABC 15's Rebecca Thomas joins us live downtown with a breakdown of Romley's strategy. Katie Romley has been in office for about a month now. He says his strategy on illegal immigration is stronger, smarter, and more effective. The cartels now have a new boy on the block, and I'm coming after him. Maricopa County Attorney Rick Romley unveiling his new four-point plan to combat illegal immigration. The focus, organized crime, and the creation of an organized crime division within his office. Where I'm going to put the bulk of my resources is going to go after those that are hurting our people. Namely, illegal immigrants who are committing murders, kidnapping, and smuggling drugs and humans. The plan's in sharp contrast to Sheriff Joe Arpaio's immigration sweeps, which target anyone who's in the country illegally. We're going to continue to arrest people, book them into the jail, and I'm looking forward to the new 1070. However, when submitting cases to the county attorney's office, Romley is requiring law enforcement agencies to submit certification from ICE that a person is in the U.S. illegally. The same will be required for prosecution under SB 1070. Here we have a new interim county attorney. Uh, this change of the rules in a very subtle uh, way. I'm not happy with that. Also part of Romley's plan, collaboration and intelligent sharing between law enforcement agencies in Arizona and other border states. I'm getting tougher, but I'm focusing my toughness upon those that are committing crimes within this particular community. In addition to prosecuting employer sanctions violations, uh, Romley intends to create a new business certification program where he will educate um, employers on proper hiring practices that the individual businesses will pay for this and there will be no expense to taxpayers. Live in downtown Phoenix, Rebecca Thomas, ABC 15 News.